7, independent voters, listen up. Politicians really want your vote this November. And in tonight's Political Watch 10, News 10's Louisa Muller joins us live in the studio to explain why. Louisa. Mark, this year nearly 40% of voters say they are independents. That's more than the number of folks who say they're Democrats or Republicans. And with less than two weeks away from the midterms, they're a group who could make or break an election. I spoke with two Indiana Senate hopefuls to find out how they plan to get that crucial independent vote. <laughs> Brad Ellsworth shares some laughs with supporters in Terre Haute. The Democrat congressman says his voting record shows his interest in supporting independents. Voted against the first two Democratic budgets. I voted for the third. I voted against the first stimulus package. But Ellsworth has an extra hurdle this election season. According to Gallup polls, since March, independent voters have preferred Republicans over Democrats. And 51% of independent voters disapprove of President Obama. Ellsworth says he doesn't always agree with the president, citing his vote against cap and trade as an example. Across town, Republican rival Dan Coats gives a speech to students with a message that the federal government is spending too much, something he hopes will push independents to vote for him. We're spending way too much money, much more than we can afford. Uh, we are swiping the federal credit card, and the debt that we're racking up is going to have a negative impact on our economy in the future. Plus, Coat says he's against tax hikes, another policy he thinks will appeal to independents. According to a recent poll, Ellsworth is trailing Coates in the polls 33 to 51 percent. Back to you guys. Thanks, Louisa. Dan Coates will be attending a meeting with the Wabash Valley Tea Party tonight. It's at 7 o'clock at the Zora Shrine Temple in Terre Haute. For more details, visit our website, WTHITV.com.